You should mention a new album. Discuss it, my brother. New Talk album is it. crazy. It's called Wake the Fuck Up. Wake the Fuck Up. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop really need to wake the fuck up as far as we concerned. And we got with these kids snow goons and these niggas, they gave us the foundation to bring that East Coast hip hop one project, you know what I'm saying? That's what we doing. It's, it's 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 a great album, you know what I'm saying? We got the new video called Turn the Fuck Up just dropped. Um, you know, we just working, man. Working this album, touring. And it's I you know, we wanted to make an album when we when we do our songs like Throw Your Guns and Raise It Up and, and Last Days, we wanted to make an album that just like can carry on. Like when we play those songs at the same concert, you still get the same feeling. There's no like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not like shifting too far, but it's two, but it's 2014, 15. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's still in the same what we do. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to change our sound too in much. The same vein. So what are you trying to you know accomplish? I know you just said that you want to have basically like an everlasting sound, but uh, what are you trying to accomplish in terms of influencing other hip hop artists? I don't want to influence no fucking body. If they get influenced, they get influenced. We, what we want to do is be slaves to our fans. We work for them. We gonna give them what they want because they tell you what they like. Mm -hmm. Like we, you know, we swerve off course and did a couple of things and they tell you, well, we don't like that shit. 180 in a dash, nah, we don't like that. And you gotta listen to your fans. We, we, and that's what we doing because if we try, we don't we don't worry about the new fans because our, our new fans is coming up from their younger brothers. I don't know a lot of rap groups, you know, a lot of rap groups that is from the the Wild Out era. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if their fans are getting young like our fans because when we do a show, it's six niggas, 16, 17, That's 15 L. at our show. They shows. getting younger and younger. Like it's the first album. It ain't a bunch of old niggas again. talking about, yo, I was in high school on Onyx. We don't have that shit. It be young niggas ready to rock. Mm -hmm. Young, you know what I'm saying, adolescents. That's what our music represents. C74, Rikers out. Adolescent music. Slice your face music, nigga. That's what we represent, and we stuck in that chamber. We, we don't care about what Puffy and Rick Ross and niggas doing. We, we can't do that. That's not what we do. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we rock and roll hip-hop, nigga. We mosh pit. Niggas gonna walk out with a bloody nose and have a fun with a smile on his face. The Onyx show, you know what I'm saying? That's what we represent. The mad face, nigga. Well, how does it make you feel, you know, to see such young crowds when there's so much other music that's easier for a younger crowd to just gravitate towards, still showing love to you? I think they gravitate towards, towards everything. Because I think, you know, just like food, you eat Chinese food, Italian food. I think they, the same fans that Lil Wayne got, we can have. It's just a different mode. I think of a nigga walking in the city and you got your headphones on and you want some shit, throw an Onyx, let a nigga bump you. Mm -hmm. Like, that's that walk through Manhattan music. Let a nigga fuck with me music. Like, mm -hmm. for certain shit, if that's what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You might Go want to the gym, extreme sports. You know, that's what we bring out. If you want that energy, this is what we bring out. And I think this, this you can have a, a variety of music. I listen to fucking R&B all day. You, you would never think what I listen to. It's like people could listen to what they want to. We just, this is what we do. Mm -hmm. You hear Onyx catalog, go through our catalog. We're going to give you that same shit, but different. You also mentioned the uh, movie project you're working on. That's, that's his baby. Share some details, brother. The name of the movie is called Kane and Hable. Russell's producing. I'm directing. Fredro is starring among a whole bunch of other stars. I'm the shooter. <laughs> yeah, he's a shooter. He's a psycho in it. And that's it. And it's all in rap. If you didn't see Day in the Life or... or then you don't know the fuck I'm talking about. If people you need to who catch are not up. familiar, we put a movie out called A Day in the Life. It's not all my apps. Bo Keen with Bond, Makai Pfeiffer, Pfeiffer. This is the first movie. Michael Makai Rappaport. Pfeiffer, all my apps was ever... You know, these, these guys came up we never was in a movie together. Clarence Williams We put III, everybody in this movie. I don't know if you saw it, but it's called Day in the Life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's an all rap movie. Mm -hmm. Russell saw it. When he saw it, he was like, yo, I want to be a part of the next phase of this. Okay. So, so here we are. You know what I'm saying? Russell is in the driver's seat. You know what I'm saying? And I'm on top of the roof with two shotties, nigga. Let's go. You have a projected uh, release and everything? Or? 2015. 15? Sure. This is going to be a blockbuster because I think with Russell behind 
this project, I think this is something that hip hop hasn't had since something like B Street. You know what I'm saying? Just because of the hip hop element and the story, where we take it. Yo, it's yeah. retarded. So yeah, yeah, we working, man. We, you know, you know. Matter of fact, in all the movies we do, we always keep a hip hop element to it. We always have a hip hop element to it, no matter what it is. We like to bring that element, either this on the soundtrack or the character itself. We always like to represent our culture in the movies we do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We have yet to do like. Law, like lawyers and shit that don't represent the culture. What we we want to, but for, that's what we do. We we are hip hop actors, man. Right. Straight like that. Blade was hip hop, nigga. 